Hello everyone and welcome back to Eternal Darkness. This is our last chapter page that we're going to be reading. So let's uh, take a look. Wherever disaster and death lurk, there is likely to be an ancient just beyond our senses, waiting. They prey on our misfortune and exploit it toward their own twisted ends. When hundreds of oil fields are set ablaze on the heels of war, the ancient's grip tightens, knowing that lives will be forfeit and resources squandered. But a few people make a difference. People like Michael Edwards, a Canadian industrial firefighter hired to put an end to the insanity at the end of the war. Ironically for him, the insanity was just beginning. about this one. It feels more out of control than the others. More powerful. I don't know how else to describe it. This is the safest way to blow out these things. You've done this enough to know that. It's by the numbers. It's all good. Just relax. The silicon cloth and the water spray are there, so you're probably right. We've got 500 pounds of 80% nitroglycerin grade dynamite all in place. We're good to go. Edwards, you can pull your team back now. Get your team to a safe distance and we'll try to kill the fire. Sure thing. Coming back now. We're getting a pressure increase at the well cap. It's gonna tear itself apart. Hurry! Get your team out of the... Tons of concrete. Take this. Guard it well. Many have perished for it. Take it. Take it to the ruins of Enga. At the ruins, a gathering of light. You want me to take this to some ruins under a house in Rhode Island? Take it. Save us. All. Michael Edwards, not to be confused with like the other four Michael Edwards that there are that are actually real people is a Canadian firefighter, and he is voiced by Greg Eagles, who also does the voice of Chaturga. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but Richard Doyle, who does the voices of um, a couple of characters, um, like Pius Augustus, also is the one who does the voice for Uliath.
As you can see, we actually haven't picked up the book yet, and there's enemies everywhere. And now that we have an arsenal of bullets that we're never going to use, um, fighting this thing is a pain, just like all of them have been. But you notice this one is huge, like compared to the other things we fought. Can't even hit him in the head. Sanity meter is really small too. It's already empty. I think that the two military guys, Michael and Peter, had the smallest sanity bars out of anybody. There's a lot of combat in this chapter and even though you have all these guns and stuff it's not always the best option to use them um, but you do have a lot of choice for weapons if you would like to use items that aren't like melee. This is another chapter that really shows off the detail that was paid to making each character very different. Even though Michael and Peter were both uh, military men, since Peter was a photographer, he didn't really have all these weapons that Michael has. And we're going to show off the assault rifle here, which has two settings. It has a, you know, one shot and then it also has the automatic version. That shit just blows those motherfuckers apart. <laughs> Beyond the cutscenes and the enemies changing, the other difference between playing the three different gods is that um, Pius's artifact is always the one of the most dominant god, the one that you're fighting, and you must collect the other three.
don't have to fight everything in this area. You can just run away. This is just a tip for you. You could. There you go. Let's get out of here. That's actually the last of the three statues. If we would have missed any of them, we would not be able to go back and get them, and we get to complete that puzzle in this level now. that for a lot of people, um, the ending point for them for this game was really the big boss battle with Peter. They couldn't make it past it, and for those people that did make it past that, they seemed to not be able to make it past Edward's stage with the vampire and the huge thing. Um, I think it's, home, it's pretty much smooth sailing once you get past that. If you can make it to that part, doing the rest of this isn't really that difficult, but it's like very painful to get past the really long, drawn-out sections in Edward's part for a lot of people. So here we are finally in the room where we're actually going to use these statues. You can see on the back wall right there that there's a warrior in a huge pose about to strike something down. Now normally in most of these puzzles what we've done is we've su supplied the stronger deity to the weak and here we'll be applying the weaker deity to the strong. Even the images give the gods male and female um, poses. The warrior and uh, sorcerer are both male, however the scholar is female. I think it's very interesting that these gods who don't actually have genders are given male and female images in these portraits because they have male and female voices. We spent all this time to get this enchanted gladius, which Michael cannot use because it is the ultimate weapon in the game and only equipable by Alex.
may have to rewind that to see what happened, but we were walking on the ceiling. By casting a 9 point bind spell, you can cause a horror to change sides over to whichever alignment you cast it for. I swear that's never happened to me before. It doesn't really happen a lot in the game, especially because running refills your magic, and when your magic is low, you have to run around like a doofus. remember where that bridge is from the chapter with Roberto so we need to go there um, and destroy it we have to do what the crazy voice in our head tells us to do <laughs> people, Michael just is having such a problem keeping his magic up. There's a lot of things you have to do in this chapter, and a lot of them involve magic, so running out of it. <laughs> that was probably a little more perplexing for those of you on Max. to the Hellmouth on Buffy, this pit is where all of these demons and icky things are coming out from. We can't just put down the bomb though, we need to make a magic bomb. Don't know if that's stronger than a regular bomb or what, but it will do the trick.
John Michael having such a hard time. His meter is so small. I kind of think that it's possible that the length of the magic meter is inverse to the size of the penis of the character that we're playing as. That would just be one guess on my part. why we cast the shield beforehand so we can get a quick break out of here. Um, I told you guys before about the remix CD, but I also wanted to tell you guys a little bit. They did an audiobook. Um, they wrote a book from the story of this, kind of like they did with Resident Evil. And then there's an audiobook version of that. And I'm going to play for you part of the chapter that they have for Michael. Before I do that, however, enjoy a little bit more of the running through this um, temple. We're, we're backtracking quite a bit, um, all the way back to where we started from. syrup all day because it grew up it grew on the trees out in the backyard eh? that's where I found it it was delicious and so was Lawrence sadly my family was very poor because we did not have any money of our own so one winter we had to kill Lawrence and we had to eat Lawrence and I love that moose. Thanks for coming. I didn't think you'd show. Look, I have no idea who you... I think you do. Just as much as I know you know. Now let's be quick. The Guardians know where I am and I won't last the night. But that's not the point. What's this? Something you need. Don't open it here. Only in privacy. They can sense it if it's not shrouded. Is it one of the artifacts? You must leave now. But there's something I have to do before they get to me. I can't protect you if they find us. Good luck!
time to enter a room we actually haven't gone into yet. We are going into the observatory since all the planets have aligned and now there is a light shining through. Convenient that we just solved that puzzle too, huh? the enchanted gladius like the power weapon of this game strongest weapon it is enchanted with the dominant alignment and it also has the ability to be thrown when you target an enemy that's far away Like I said, we have no more chapter pages. That's all for that. Last chapter is Alex, and we will do that next time. Just so you know, Vega actually didn't press the button there. It did it on its own. <laughs>